This is the uh, Aridia workspace. And I, I am going to go ahead and access uh, the Vera app, which I put on there, uh, through the Aridia workspace. And so first you fire up Google Chrome or whatever your web browser is and you go to that address and you sign in and they have, um, they have this workspace for you. So you, uh, you are like a member of this workspace. So I click that and then I can actually go to the uh, main page here. Here is the workspace. And so there are a few icons there. The one I'm going to focus on is mini apps. You can see that if you go hover over them, a different word will show up. Mini apps is what I'm interested in. And here are the mini apps. And these are apps. Um, and there are a few there that are already there. Uh, and I've created this fair app. And I'm not going to talk here uh, how to build it, but just how to use it. So I will click connect the Farah app connect. And I, I am going to go ahead here and now I am connecting to the app. The app here. So I am going to focus right now on this part. So this is the new part that comes with the uh, Aridia workspace. So you have the app has been running. So you have a few, you can view log. So if I click view log, here is the tail of the log file that is created. And this is when your app fails, this is the first place that you go to. You can hide log, you can save log to file, you can refresh, you can restart. Refresh is refresh the app. Restart is restart the app. So I don't want to hit those. So you can also, uh, this is a button right here, which lets you expand the app there. So uh, if I click that, that makes it smaller. Here, it makes it big. And so here I can go ahead and actually go through the app. So on the left here are my domains. And so if I, I can click these domains and the table will show up there. Uh, so I did have demographics there. Uh, and you can see I have categorical and I have uh, continuous variables. So if I have a categorical, I can click on that. It looks like a link. I can click on that and I can actually see what some more information on that level info. Uh, you can see this is the, you know, this adds information here for the table and information here on the domain. View allows one to see what domain was selected. Uh, I don't know if I showed you, there are all of the domains that are in this, uh, this, um, this, uh, data set. Uh, so the view there summary is where I'm going to go back to domain explorer. So I go to my visualizations. I click on that. Here are the exact same domains that I had on the first page. And you can choose either you can combine the data. You don't have to, uh, but I will go ahead and combine it. And so there is this, uh, that bar there, and it will tell you that combining takes a certain amount of time. And now uh, I am combined. And now the first thing that I'm going to go here is I can actually create the data set filters here. And so these are the uh, filters. So I've chosen this uh, study ID. And so I am going to go through here and select a, uh, a variable here, that time to complete. And so I add a group variable. You don't need to do the group, but I'm going to. So if I hit plot there, look what shows up there. No records in that chosen domain. 
So that means that the filter that I picked there is, um, you know, it's not showing up. So let's choose a, because there is no data. So let's choose a couple more study IDs there. So if I click plot now again, and I've now done, so you can see I have those study ideas there. Cool. Okay, box plot and histogram. If I hover over the histogram, you can actually see any plot that I hover over. You can see the uh, points there. Uh, and so I can actually go ahead. I just wanted to show the data filter. You can just. Uh, get rid of it you hit plot again and now it will plot there and it will show a plot with uh all of the variables and there we go studies there so yeah so histogram there uh, and you can like i said you can choose a bunch of different this is just one example I can also click bivariate, okay? So when I hit bivariate, look at the plotting selectors, okay? So univariate, oh, uh, just two there. Bivariate is now three because I have X, I have my Y, and I have my group. So I can go ahead and here, I can click, yeah, I want H, okay? And I go ahead and I click plot there. And I, there is my plot, and I have that plot. So now I want low S lines to show up. So I click show low S, uh, and um, I want to show those. So then I go ahead and show those. So I've selected those, and I click plot again because that's how I make it. I do it again. And so now I go ahead and, and it's creating another plot. The plot has shown up. And there we go, the bivariate plot there with the lowest lines. So we have green and red there. And again, if you hover over those, it shows you, you know, what the points are. Uh, and so I am going to go, to, so go down here to the statistical variable uh, selectors. And again, I don't have to select the same ones that I selected up here. Um, you can if you want, that is perfectly fine and totally makes sense. But uh, here, if you see, I click my stats tab, click the do stats button to view image. And so I go here and I selected my dependent and the variable missing. Yeah, so I say do stats and I go ahead and I do stats on this guy. And here we go. This is uh, the uh, normality plot right here, okay? So I do the shapiro wilk normality test, but Pictures are worth a thousand words. So I want to, so I, yeah, I did this. I, uh, and, but I want to show these plots. Here I have this, uh, this uh, normality plot there, density. And here is supposed to be a straight line. If you're uh, familiar with it. So this is definitely not normal. And so it totally agrees with what the uh, Shapiro test finds. So I go here and then click the uh, homogeneous variance and I am here and this will go ahead and check is the group for the race, right? So I have these and I'm looking here and obviously this is not homogeneous, right? So it agrees with what the test found, not homogeneous, okay? Because these spreads aren't the same for each group, okay? So now, all right, not homogeneous, not normal. So I want to know these different between the groups. So I want to find if there is a statistical difference in race groups for the T51 
complete 25 walk. I had, I had eight groups there. And I did this test. Now you'll notice, as I hover over those, it sh this uh, little uh, information uh, shows. Normal data and homogeneous. So this is the assumptions, okay? So this one, data not normal, constant variance so does not matter. So what happens is these two uh, tests will determine, so I have, I put in what those tests actually found, and then I default out whatever test it decides this. So it does a, this sums test, and it finds that there is a difference in one of those groups, in one of the braces. So I go ahead and I do my pairwise, okay? So, and I rank these, right, by p-value. So my first one is American Indian or Alaskan Native versus Black. So that is different uh, over that test. Uh, and if I have Hispanic, that's the second one. So you can see there that I have a few that are different groups. So yes, yeah, so that p-value, so the, then I can actually show that. Okay, so that is how to do your statistical test. Uh, the last couple tabs here, I have my reference. Okay, so this just tells me, you know, what sort of things uh, did I tap back there on those visualizations and how to explain those. And then the data dictionary actually has more information on it has a much, it has in tabular form what the domains were. So it tells me here the demographic, special purpose, a gender. So yeah, functional test, right? So it tells me those. I also have my study level info. So yeah, so that is the sort of stuff that this app finds. Thank you.